We are going to look at the D-Band plugin from Sapphire Plugins in this particular example, uh, running inside of Final Cut Pro. D-Band is a more practical effect as opposed to some of the more eye-catching effects from Sapphire, but it's a really practical and useful effect in that it gets rid of banding. So if any of you are working in broadcast and get gradients with uh, significant banding due to low color bit depth, this does a really good job of getting rid of that by doing both a pixel diffusion and uh, pixel blur. So I'm just zooming in here to show you the really heavy duty banding on this clip. But um, with the D-Band plugin, it's actually pretty easy to get used to get rid of without having to spend too much time on it. So I'm going to start just by going to my video filters to the Sapphire Blur and Sharpen category and applying D-Band. So it's not doing a whole lot off the bat. There is a, a bit of manual control that's necessary. But the nice thing about this plugin is it doesn't really have that many controls and uh, you pretty much only need to use four or five of them and you can get a really nice result to eliminate your banding. Uh, and I should mention all the, the pixel diffusion, all the blurring that goes on uh, is only going to affect the banded areas. It's not going to affect any of your source areas. So you've got a fair bit of control to define those areas, uh, which I'll show you right now. Um, the first thing I want to do is go to my show option and this lets me flip between my result and my edges. So I'm going to just show you going from my result to my edges here. I can flip back and forth there. I'll go back to my result and zoom out. So when I switch it to show my edges, I'm actually reading what the plugin is reading here. And you can see all these white bits here are the edges of the image. Those are all the edges that the algorithm of the plugin is finding, whether it's a solid source edge or it's a banded edge. But when we start to take up the edge threshold uh, with our first step, it does a really good job, the plugin that is, of, uh, of eliminating those banded edges without affecting any of your source edges. So I'm just going to all I'm going to do is take up my source edge threshold here, and you can see already it's starting to pull away all those white lines, but only those areas where the banding is. My leftover white lines here are all of the source image, are all of the bottle and the logo, which we don't want to do any unnecessary deep banding or image degradation with blurring and pixel diffusion of. We want to keep that part of the image, those source edges, pristine and clean. So I've at least defined those edges now, and I can go back and show my result. So not a whole lot is going on yet, but we've set those edges for the plugin. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is start doing a bit of a blur and a pixel diffusion. But again, it's only going to happen on those edges that we've set with our edge threshold. So the first thing I choose to tend to do is to go to my pre-blur option and add the pre-blur. And the pre-blur is your initial layer of blur. Again, that's only applied to the areas of the uh, image where you've turned the edge threshold to define. Okay, so I just turn those up a little bit here, just again getting a bit of a smoother blur, and you can begin to see that starting to uh, to smooth out. I'll flip back and forth between my uh, initial, uh, my original clip and my result. Go back to my result here and show you that. So already it started to do a pretty good job of of cleaning up those banded areas. We've added our pre-blur. Now we can go on to add some diffusion. So we go look at the diffuse radius here, and the diffuse radius is just the uh, the pixel diffusion amount. And I'm going to start to turn that up. And I'm going to turn it way up just so you get an idea. You can see all the pixel diffusion going on. But then again, all the pixel diffusion is only happening in this banded area. It's not happening on your source edges. Because um, the plugin algorithm is really good about determining what are those banded edges versus source edges. I'm going to take the diffuse radius down because we don't need it quite that high. But that looks like a pretty good amount. So I've now done my pixel diffusion. So once I've done my layer of pre-blur and then my pixel diffusion, I can add my layer of post-blur. And that's the final layer that goes on top of everything else. It goes on top of the blur and the diffusion. And finally, we add another layer of blur to further smooth that out. But again, it's only doing this on the areas where the banding is. So as I zoom in here, it's done a really good job of cleaning up the banding without affecting any of my source edges. I'm going to zoom out here and just do a before and after comparison. And I did this really quickly. You can see here it's pretty heavy duty, the banding, and turn it on, and it's uh, it's almost entirely gone without really softening the edge, the image that much. It softened it a little bit, but then again, you can always start tweaking the uh, pre and post blur a little bit more if you want to sort of try to clean that up a little bit. But again, you've not had to do that much work. You just apply the plugin, set the uh, edges, and uh, add a couple, added a couple controls. Zoom in and out here, and it's done a really nice job of debanding your source image.